in today's video is a new video series on building a solar generator a standby or emergency solar generator and this is gonna be a series of videos coming up as we're gonna start them here this is an introductory into it and if you haven't seen my channel this is just about accidental or your first time you stumble into it welcome to JW solar USA this is what we do here with all my people and um, they're always on my project and uh, I want you guys to be welcome uh, you guys are all on board this is what I have here but this solar generator I want to make it more modern technology okay I don't want to use uh, sealed acid I don't want to use um, AGM batteries I want to go into more um, higher technology but there are two options me going into <clears throat> stay with the older technology which I have eight um, 21 amp hours 12 volt batteries here with the UPS batteries you guys have seen them on my videos for tests or reviews I've done with them I don't have nothing to do with them they sit here just like I want to demonstrate on certain things instead of taking big jumbo batteries and giant batteries and do what I gotta do so I normally use those for my configuration so this is the, the thing I have eight of them which is uh, uh which is a uh, 21 amp hours so 21 times eight that gives us 168 amp hours at 12 volt i can able to do the, uh, those batteries at 24 or 48 volts configuration or 24 volt battery 48 volt battery bank nominum so I end up going into uh, 24 volts. You divide that um, 168 divided by 2. So if you divide that, so it's going to give you approximately, uh, what, 64 amp hours, I suppose. Uh, something like that, if my math is right. Or 80 something, 80, I think it's 80, yeah, 80. 84 amp hours okay 84 amp hours so divide 84 um, 168 divided by 4 so they can have a 48 so that gives you what a lower amp hours so more higher efficiency but anyway uh, we are not here to do math and all breaking all this kind of stuff but I'm sure trying to show you guys what I have to start this project because if you guys be worried my portable uh, electronic system I did all little things I want to power in case of emergency or whatever I start that project and I stopped those video series but now I'm trying back to get into it because I never built my solar generator yet every or each and every solar guy already have one of those so i have to complete this dream that i already had years ago which that would have been my first design or instead of getting to all this other part of the solar thing i'm going but like i said i have a lot of projects on my hands that you know they pops and i just go with the flow it pops i just gonna go so i have all lot of videos pending series i have to get back to but as time comes in, new technology, new tests, new machines, and all that, the thing just continues and never stop. So this is why I want to bring you guys today to show you what's in this box. And let's check it out. Okay? From here in Minnesota, JW Solar USA. All right. I've been looking at certain things that people be using like ammo box like military um, ammo boxes and uh, and different kind of uh, containers or cases or whatever 
So that's the one of the things that stop my projects because I want to have something enough, something big, something I can carry, something I can build, which I want to put like casting wheels that I can able to drag this thing and run it everywhere, anywhere I want to go. I don't have to lift it. But one of the things that hold me back is the weight. When it comes about weight, that's why they build cars, electric cars, trying to make the car very efficient, lightweight, and, you know, it goes faster and efficiency, the efficiency. But this is the deal, folks. This is the problem. I was thinking about the weight. Some, some of them have the ammo boxes. It's uh, smaller, but heavy. It's, it's metal. It's steel, or whatever it is. But now I end up... I went back and bought myself, I found these at a store. This is a big box, okay? It's a PVC box, electrical, and uh, really, really cool that it costs money. This costs like uh, approximately $45 with tax and all that stuff. It gets me to very good amount of money, very close to 50 bucks. So if I put the tape right here, you guys can see. This box is approximately 29 inches long, okay? And uh, looking at it from this angle, the width of it is about nine inches, nine inches the width, okay? You can see from here, it has a cover. If I take it from here, so this gives me approximately 27 Hold on. Almost 28 inches long. So the depth of this box is uh, is the same, okay? It's about eight inches. But look what I found. A very nice box that you can use for um, solar install or outside um, commercial grade that has everything that's so cool this is the box maybe I have to go uh, sideways to show you guys and um, look look it's a size of uh, uh, um, a suitcase look how big it is okay I just show um, show you guys about 28 inches across oh no and the width is about nine inches so this is what I want to use to build my solar generator uh, 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 um, power generator that I want to utilize for in case of emergencies and folks I found the best box I already had this like a uh, months months ago maybe three months ago but I don't want to show it in the video yet but look this is the cover this is a seal a very strong seal they have on these and um, so I end up I went to the store hardware store just snooping around looking you know I got myself I went to one of the stores Axeman you guys probably see this this is what it cost me to get the casting wheels okay let me show you this you might probably say, see seven dollars and 95 cent for just the, these wheels right here see that casting wheels so smooth and really really nice and it matches the the box the color as well and nice bearings you know look at this good bearings you just have to grease them right here and this box gonna fly with you know easily so my thing is i'm thinking about using lithium ion batteries or a lithium ion phosphate or my seal lead acid batteries that i have which is um uh, the smaller packs for the upc so saying that let me open up this one and show you the cover which um this is part of the uh one old thing demonstration and I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm talking about here. It's not like trying to keep everything in plastics anymore. 
because I have to execute this plan. If I don't do this, um, sorry you have this box for nothing. And I pay a lot of money for it. So if you look at the company, that's the name of the company or whatever name is uh, Bud something, whatever it is. BUD, Bud Industry Incorporation. See? And it said it's made in Korea. Bud Industry, made in Korea. That's what it says. So, this is the cover. You guys can see these are the, the lip that's supposed to latch to lock the box. So, you can able to lock it away, you know, and you can able to put some, like a padlock, you know, on this side, so nobody can tamper with it. They use this one to build, to install, like, heavy-duty equipment, like, um, off-site and maybe store some batteries or maybe more of a te uh, telecommunication Wi-Fi routers or somewhere in a designated area. And uh, I decided to go this route, and uh, I bought myself, I got myself four casting wheels that cost $7.95 a piece, $7.95 a piece, see that, four, four of them, so I'm going to use into this box, on this box, sorry, and you guys can see the rubber seal onto these that keeps this thing really enclosed. Because it's meant for out, outdoor and indoor um, application. And this is the box. You guys can see <clears throat> all kind of holes into it. Then you can do your mounting, whatever you want to do. You see? So I can able to put, if it's a lithium batteries, I can able to set them here. So it, if I can do like a, a 6S or 4s okay if I'm doing a 12 volt it's gonna be like a 4s and uh, for the 12 volt if I'm using the lithium batteries and look at this look at this lip right here how is this thing gonna sit right so let me show you how this box it has a little hangers here you can see how these things clip into that and makes it really just really cool so let me see I uncle this one right I don't want to break any of these things because it just ruin the box yeah I hope you guys can see that on camera but it's pretty interesting and I'm so excited to um, do this, I hope. You guys like what you've seen here. I know um, I have to do this. Well, anyway, the box is going to look like this. Okay? The box is going to look just like this. Open. Really big. See that? That's all the space. I can able to set up... Um, few of the uh like the battery is going to be on this side here on this side or if i want to go that way or this way here well, i would like to keep them on the corner if it's going to be half of this i have got no measurements yet maybe it's going to go from here all the way there but i have to put something underneath i'm going to be like casting wheel uh, um, I'm gonna build sorry like a, uh, a dolly like with the casting wheels so this thing's gonna just sit on top of it and screw it to one of these I can use utilize one of these holes here and screw all the way in at the bottom right here see it's designed you guys can see you can able to mount it see it's already pre-drilled with um, how screws and whatever you can mount it with uh, using unistruts or super struts so these are all 
the application for this thing is it's very interesting you see this one can even take this one out see it sits right there it's set up very very well and uh i'm gonna do this get the batteries maybe one side here well if i decide maybe i can go all the way so that i can get the batteries balanced or if it's i'm gonna buy um maybe 12 batteries of maybe nissan or any of these um um lithium batteries or c max or whatever i'm going to use for that configuration i want some of them to be over there some of them to be here balance the weight and <clears throat> this side here i can able to put like a wood i don't know four by two whatever you call it so it can be here to reinforce it and i can screw from the outside to hold the board right here so i can able to mount my charge controller but the charge control I'm thinking of right now to utilize, I might probably use a Victron. Okay? I can use a Victron, maybe a 20 amp Victron uh, charge controller. And I can able to use, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> maybe I can able to use a Victron charge controller since I already have this, uh, from Pushon that I made a video out of the other day and uh, this one right here which is a um, a copy of the Victron this is a Chinese Victron I want to use that <clears throat> as my battery monitor and the thing is uh, the color matches too and I'm gonna be putting my switches I'm gonna be putting breakers I'm gonna be putting uh, different kind of uh, DC 12 volt um, uh, cigarette lighter to charge through USB charging ports and um, <clears throat> I can able to charge um, uh, regular cell phone tablets and all the good stuff so I think this is gonna be a good project I don't know what you guys think give me your input and uh, this is gonna be my project that is coming up soon which i want you guys to stay tuned like you guys always do on my projects let me zoom back a little bit and see the box i'm gonna set it up get uh, lithium batteries in there they're gonna cost me more because of i have to buy them individually or um which you guys can see on youtube or oh, sorry on ebay people are trying to sell certain packs when they open um, that and do a configuration or whatever the excess they want to just probably get rid of them or some people had like a, a vehicle itself and they need to get rid of or maybe they have a damaged cell <clears throat> they replace it with a uh, they end up buying another battery to replace the bad ones so that they can get the one old pack on the car working so they tend to put some of the individual cells on 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 eBay and online. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to I'm trying to work on some few stuff. I can see if I can get a deal from one of the dealers or whatever, or car manufacturer, or whatever, whatever I can get them from, and see if I can get a deal. I can buy probably twelve of those. So I want twelve of those. I don't want too much batteries here. I don't want too much clutter on this thing because I have to put a charge controller <clears throat> sorry the inverter because what I'm thinking right here um, if I have these batteries all set up in one way um, I just want to make sure that uh, um, I have room I don't want to run out of room on this one old project that's the deal I want to make sure the batteries is going to be here on the left hand side the inverter is going to take over there. But the inverter I'm thinking about doing, if it's a 12 or 24 volt, you guys have seen my videos back in the day. Here's a box. And I might probably incorporate my Kotec inverter, 24 volt. I can put it over there. Maybe do some little kind of um, artwork. 
and cut this side here for the face for the inverter <clears throat> and get the other side right here like an exhaust to take the out the air out and get maybe one of these places or the bottom here and trying to put um, like a, a vent so that can be the intake of the air so it can circulate to cool these batteries and the inverters this box gonna be closed if I want to it still runs I can charge the batteries I don't have to worry about heat so I don't want to put more fans in this because I don't want this thing to be really noisy I want it to be really quiet <clears throat> and nice no disturbance I don't have to worry about anything that's why I want to build this thing I want to keep inside or anywhere I'm going in a car or whatever I don't like the fans uh, the noise that's why I want to go with the Victron then I can have a passive cooling system and it's not expensive to get a Victron anymore like the little um, inverters and uh, the charge controller sorry I might probably go with a Victron inverter I don't know it depends on see how um, things go, finances and whatever, budgets. If I <clears throat> want to do that, I probably got all Victron products. So the other thing I want to do into this, I'm going to be incorporate a tablet on this one, which going to be, um, these are all, um, I, I'm, I'm just um, presuming or making some all this um, preparation. I, it might change. I might probably incorporate something else new. It depends what... Um, my I, I gotta anything my hands gonna get onto or get into this is how i'm gonna design or do whatever i mentioned some of these things they might probably see them here you might probably see more another different high-end machines on this device because i want to get this first machine perfect once and for all and i'm done with it <clears throat> it's portable it's durable i can do whatever i want with it because if I go with the lithium batteries, I can have higher voltage and the voltage is not going to sag, like I was saying. And I don't have to worry about weight, like the c -lead acid or AGM batteries, they're heavy. It makes this box really, really heavy. I can't even move it. If I have to bring it off from my house to a car, it's going to be really hard to lift this box and put it in the car. So I want to make things really comfortable and easier. And that's why I want to use uh, lithium batteries. That's the main, main, main reason. Because by doing so, it's going to be lighter. It's not going to be heavy. And uh, even if it's going to be heavy, it's not going to be too much compared to um, lead acid or C lead acid or AGMs. So I want to keep it that way. Plus the other extra equipment I'm going to be um, putting into this, like the inverter. <clears throat> they kind of heavy as well and the cables and all bells and whistles and you know it tend to be um, difficult so I'm trying to get this box to really latch well but uh, folks this is a really cool box you guys can see it has uh, all the uh, things you can able to lock and uh, I have some few stuff here <clears throat> from the inside where you can hang the box you know I'll show you these uh, components here you see so you can able to hang this box the way you want mounted in different angle so these are like the legs that you can put this one and mount it where you want to mount it and uh, it's just hangers you see there are like uh, six of them here with the, the, the bolts or the nuts, the, the bolts, sorry. <clears throat> and um, this is how we're going to be testing this and we're going to make sure this projects go really well. And uh, what I'm going to do, I want to be at the top of this, the cover, the lip of it. I want to take, I want to cut this. I want to have more of the good machines, uh, drum mill or whatever it is. To able to cut this um, box so I can have the right fitting and everything's going to be really, uh, you, know, you know, really accurate so that I don't have to have all kind of mess. I want this box to be really nice and turns out pretty well. 
cut and put the meters and cut and put a design for the tablet right here where it's going to go. I think it's uh, approximately 8 inches or um, what? 6 inches, 6.5 or whatever it is. So <clears throat> I have it. Cut it right here. That will be my monitor so that I can turn the Wi-Fi um, uh, application on my on my phone or on the, on that tablet, sorry. And uh, it's an iPad. That's a tablet, it's an iPad. So it's going to be like, I can have this screen here telling me everything just like the Victron. And I can have the Victron meter right here, which is the Fampushan, which is the Chinese... Uh, um, Victron, then I can have all other switches here. My main uh, uh, cutoff gonna be probably one of the corners, the sides here, or maybe at the front. And I can have outlets here for the AC and um, DC chargers or whatever. I can maybe I can able to put them on the top here, but I might probably put them on the thing. So this project is gonna take a while though. Is I just want to make sure that I'm going to do it. It's going to be really, really done right. Because if I messed up, if I messed up on this box, I just already messed, <clears throat> I already destroyed a box that cost me almost $50. Okay? So I want to take my time and do it right. And these tires here is going to be the casting wheels. So they're going to be sitting. Something of this nature, you know, you see that? But it's not going to be bolted into the box. I want to build um, a 2x4 or whatever. So, and <clears throat> it's going to be on that kind of dolly-like. And uh, I can able to get this thing mounted right and sit there and screw that wood with this PVC box. And so I'm getting there, but I just want to show you what I'm up to or my plans, what my plans are. So I have these wheels back in here. And this will wrap up our video. And just want to give you a heads up what's going to be the new project coming up. And um, I'm going to be working on this. Make sure this thing get done before winter starts. Not by my power, okay? You know, with the guy upstairs. So everything works well, and you guys will see this thing operational, all done. But I want to do step by step. I'm going to be showing you guys. I don't, I'm not going to just leave you guys hanging like that. I want you guys to see how I do things and how this thing going to go. Live from the command center here in Minnesota, this is JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Please like, like share, subscribe. Bye for now.